linemen for Detroit Henry Ford. Man, these guys are so big. Oh. Here's the give straight up the middle, and Touchdown. that's how you beat a big line. And they just experienced that right there with number five busting through the middle for about 15 yards and a touchdown for Detroit Henry Ford. This is the problem that we were talking about a bit earlier. Now I understand how they're able to, to do what they're doing. Let's take a look at the touchdown. What happens here strictly is that Cooley just gets beat all over. Everyone, as you can see, the, the whole team stands there and they with the ball. They're about the 22-yard line. Here's the gift to Hubbard. Hubbard breaks through. He might get in. And he stops for a stop short of the end zone. Uh, Pound. Senior. Third down. Here's the give. Straight up the middle. That's Hubbard for the easy touchdown. Number 12. Then we're going to take a look at what happens. Look at this offensive line at the point of attack. They completely opened up a nice call. Blocker up front. Hubbard has the ball. He all, almost walks it to the end zone. That was some great... about one yard on the play. I tell you, looking at Martin Luther King football team wearing that black and gold, it brings back a lot of memories of being in a Pittsburgh Steelers uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Second down and nine for the Trojans. The give to Grudger, oh, and he has a lot of room. Grudger walking the chalk. One man to beat, and he beats him into the end zone. Touchdown, Henry Ford. And there are no flags back. There are no flags on the play. There are no flags on the play. That is one thing that King has not done this year is give up the big play. And that's what I said earlier. The only way that Henry Ford can stay in this football game is to come up with a few big plays. 79-yard 79 yard run for Dennis Hubbard as he pops that one for Henry Ford, and that brings a woo over the Henry Ford crowd and a very big woo. Ron, when you watch this replay on how uh, Mr. Grudger walked 79 yards in the end zone, describe what went on there. It looked like a straight dive play, and he, uh, the backer kind of overran him, and he just popped through, and the secondary was non-existent. The free safety should have got a better reaction to that play. I'm not sure what happened to him on that play but he should have had a better reaction because that's a position that you do not want to get in is a chase position because if a guy is just as fast as you or faster, if you end up in a trail position on him, you'll never catch him. 79-yard gallop for Dennis. Working with the left-handed quarterback, first time ever in his coaching career. We'll see what happens later on this quarter. Back up to the box. What a great tackle. That's a textbook tackle by that linebacker coming up and smacking Sterling right there on the spot. That was that pie and maybe somebody else's piece of that pie. Well, but well, that's one of the problems in pro sports right now. And there's Dennis Hubbard getting into the secondary again, picking up about 15 on the play. Uh, Henry Ford is doing a good job of controlling the offensive line. King is going to have to to do something about that play. They're going to have to get more defensive surge from the big people up front because he's popping straight up the middle of the football field and busting through and getting in the secondary. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the second quarter of play. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. He gives to Dennis Hubbard. Breaks a couple tackles into the secondary. He may go all the way. Henderson, the only man to beat. Touchdown, Henry Ford. No flags. There are no flags on the play. And this crowd here in Lorenzo Wright Stadium has to be stunned because this has not happened to Martin Luther King all season long. And here we are at homecoming. It may be a sad homecoming if this keeps this continues this way. That was a 
50 some odd yard run. Dennis Hubbard. Yeah, Hubbard. Dennis Hubbard with another big run. Second and three for the Crusaders. Under one minute here before halftime to give to Sterling Anderson. He spins, but a good tackle. Fumble on the play. Let's see who recovers it. Looks like Henry Ford has recovered it. When it comes to playing at home, what's wrong, you think? I think the crowd. They see all the crowd in the stands. Just like you're just doing an interception right now. You can't play under pressure, man. They got a, a crowd behind them, but when they get on the road, they play pretty good. They should have played a away game with Henry Ford. We've been Crusaders, and, you know, they're young, they kids. They're thinking about the homecoming dance. Right now, Hubbard trying to do a dance and he's doing a dance on the Crusader defense, right down inside to five. There's this young man, Hubbard. Where has this young man, Hubbard, been all season? He looks like all world. He looks like Barry Sanders and the rest of the Lion team all rolled into one man today. He layers, and at that, that time, it was Coach Greer who coached at Eastern Michigan University later and the New England Patriots. This pass across the middle, and it was almost intercepted by Dennis Hubbard. Dennis Hubbard had his hands on the ball again. Another pass almost intercepted. The coaches and the players. And they're staying with that formation with the, oh, he pops right through the middle and walks into the end zone. Hubbard gets his third touchdown from nine yards out. Well, there it is. My vote is in. Player of the game, Mr. Hubbard. It's unanimous. <laughs> Dennis Hubbard 